From as long as I can remember, I've been painting or sketching or making things. It was actually a very difficult time trying to decide which um, career path to go down. When I was um, actually choosing my A-level subjects, so I chose chemistry, biology, technology and maths. So I decided to not take on art because at the time I thought that I should have went down a more maybe science route or healthcare route. I wanted maybe suppose to have a more challenging career path, that's what I thought at the time. But then when I realised I was really missing out on my art class, it was three weeks in or something like that and I chose dropped chemistry and then took on art again. Yeah, it was a choice that is really significant now in my life because I would have went down a completely different career path that I am in now. I realised that that was my favourite subjects and then when I was choosing my courses at university I took the university catalogue, I think it was Queen's University in Belfast at the time and I seen a course in product design. It was the, the subjects art and technology um, sort of combined together and I applied for NCAD as well. When I went to the open day at NCAD I realised that that was definitely somewhere I wanted to study. At NCAD you were learning things like photography, um, paint, sketching, I was doing life drawing classes, uh, things that maybe you wouldn't get in a traditional product design course, so a lot of fun as well because you get to meet so many different people in your first year. So they start off just with sort of like really quick projects and you get into more and more then and I got the opportunity to do an Erasmus exchange in Milan in second year, so for six six months I studied in the Politecnico de Milano in Milan and it was really brilliant as well so after that experience I came back into my final year. We went on to um, do our individual projects. I did an oral motor training toolkit for children who are aged 3 to 10 and they're transitioning from tube feeding onto eating orally again and this project was called CHUM. We pitched it after the 12 week period to um, a series of sort of entrepreneurs in the space as well and in the end ours um, came first prize so we were really um, chuffed with that. Then following that I did a master's in medical device design and we got to take on projects with a lot of different um, multinational companies like Stryker, um, Boston Scientific, Teleflex. I applied for things and had a few different interviews and I had an interview for a place in Galway called Versona Medical and then yeah thank god um, I got accepted there. All of the sort of experiences so far have really um, helped me yeah. Don't ever feel like you have to solve everything yourself because there's so many people out there to help you. You're continually self-improving so I really enjoyed that part of it as well.